Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to convert your React application into a progressive web application. Um, so, progressive web application helps um, in increasing the usability of our system. It creates a native application of your web application. Okay, so I've created two folders. I've created a folder which I call PWA. And inside this folder, I'll create two files. I'll create a demo React application where I'll use npx create React app to create the application. This is a non, this is just a React application. And if you if you uh, you understand React, this is a way to create React. And I'll name the folder PWA first. So while that is creating, let's also um create another terminal. Let's create another terminal and let's call. Um, this um, my app and this will be a progressive web application template coming from react and so if you notice the command is npx create react app we'll give the name of the application dash dash template space this cra dash templates dash pwa which is called progressive web application let's just copy the command and run it in our terminal so i'll go back to vs code now and paste this command and hit enter this will take some time to upload but we'll come back i'll be waiting a short while after this is done Hi guys, so um, our packages have this folder is the one is the React um, application without the progressive web application. Why the my app is the React application with the progressive web application template coming from React. So let's do a little bit of comparison on these two files, on these two folder. Now I've successfully opened the progressive web application version and the non-progressive web application version. Now, if you go to the source folder on the progressive web application version, you will notice you will see repubwebvita.js, you will see serviceworker.js, you see serviceworkerregistration.js. This is for the progressive web application version. If we go for the non-progressive web application version, you will only see the report web vitals. We don't have the service workers here. So um, this is a progressive web application version. This is a non-progressive web application version. So for us to make this progressive web application version a full progressive web application version, we just need to go to the index.js, change. If you notice, we are calling this guy here. So we just change on register to register. We save, we build, and we serve. This is now a full progressive web application, React progressive web application. So let's say you have an application that you've been building for a very long time and you want to convert it into a progressive web application. So let's do that for this folder now we need two things um since we have this open there we need we need to have the service worker file and we need to have the service uh, uh, worker registration um file also so let's copy the contents in this file So we'll come here inside the um, source root folder. We'll create a new file. We'll call it service worker registration.js file. Um, we we'll also create the service worker.js file also inside this non progressive web application file. We say we'll call it the service worker.js file. Now we'll go to this progressive web application version and we'll copy those contents into 
So let's just copy all this. Control, copy. Come here. Okay. So this is supposed to be in the source folder, which I've just moved into the source folder. We we'll paste it inside. We we'll save. I will go to the PW version. We need the service worker registration. We we'll copy it. I will come to the non progressive web application and we'll paste. Now we need to work on the index.js file. Let me close all this. So if you go to the the index.js file without the progressive web application, you will notice that there is a huge difference. So this one is the one with the progressive web application um, template. So if you notice, we are calling the service worker the report vitals here. So I'll just copy this. Okay, I think the, this is already done. Then we need this guy. We need to register the service worker here. That is done. Now, we, for you to make the non progressive web application a progressive web application, we need to also work on the public folder. We need to change the our manifest the JSON file. We need to change work on our logos. So um, we have the different version of the logo. We also need to work on our index.html file. So let's do that now. So I have some resources already opened here. So um, for um, we'll be using this Facebook logo as a demo logo. So um, we'll be using it just to create our um, make our app have this Facebook icon. So um, I'll keep all this link in the description below. So this is maxible.app slash editor. Now, um, let's say I'm coming here for the first time. Um, I just need to upload my logo here. So I need to let me get the Facebook logo again. Okay, I think this is what we used. Okay, so I'll just save this. I'll save it on my system. That is done. So uh, we'll come here, we upload and I upload. Now, if once I want to export this file, it brings other options if I want different versions of the logo. So I'll just check all these. The ones I will use, I will keep them. The ones I will not use, I will take, I will delete them. So just save this download. And once you are done downloading this, you will notice that this is available on your downloads already. So it gives us the maximum version of the application. Um, it gives us it gives us the different sizes. See, this is 48 by 48, 72 by 72, 96 by 96, 128 by 128. So if let's say we want them 16 by 16 and we are not getting that here, we are also, I will also put this link in the description below. You can also get a system by system from that your initial logo so let's select this and just say um this is image resizer.com we uncheck the lock aspect ratio we remove the background fill and we'll just say we need a 16 by 16 logo 16 by 16 logo um i resize this image so it is giving me a 16 by 16 version of that logo now i'll download the image also so as i think we also need a 32 by 32 version of the logo so i'll do the same i will edit this image i'll change it i'll uncheck this uncheck this i'll change it to a 32 by 32 version of that logo and resize the image once that is done see it's telling me the output to be 32 by 32 i download this image um, that should be available in my download folder. So I'll just go there and, and get it out. Okay, so let me refresh this. 
Yes. Okay, so we have the 32 by 32. We have the 16 by 16. Or start to our application. So we also need a manifest justification file. This came with a manifest justification file, but I will also drop a link in the description below to um, give you an idea what a manifest justification file is all about. So if you notice, it comes with, it comes with um, different options. You have the icon array. This is a JSON update. There's a short name. There's a name. Start URL. Display. Team color. Background color. So all these, just play around with all this and install the application on your phone to see what, what comes, what works best. So this is um, the name of your application. Um, on some mobile device, Android mobile device, this will come as the name instead of the short name. So um, in some other Android devices, this will come as the name instead of the real name itself. So um, the start URL should be slash. So instead of doing this manually, there is a PWM manifest generator. I'll drop the link also in the description. It's, it's, it can be found in simica.com manifest. You can Google that. There is a it's it's everywhere. So I'll refresh this page. I'll refresh this page. So once you come to this page, you just enter. Let's say uh, we are building a Facebook ad. Let's say we are building a Facebook ad. Um, let's call it Facebook app. Um, we want it to be a standalone application. You see the values are changing here. Um, uh, we don't have, let's say we have a description, we fill it there also, application scope, start URL, the team color, and the background color. The team color is what will come with the um, theme of the application, and the background color will come up once the application is trying to load. Then you can select your icon um, there, and you generate you generate your manifest file. Now, I already have an existing generated manifest registration file. It's, if you notice on the icon, we have a maxable.png, which is 196 by 196. We have a logo 16, we have a logo 32, we have logo 192, and we have logo 256, we have logo 512 also, and um, prefer related application, we set it to true. So that is that. So now let's start bringing in all our logos. We already have some existing logos here that came with React with our takeout and our favicon.icu. I'll take this out also. Now let's work on this. Now we need uh, our maxable.png. Let's go to our download folder. We should have a maxable.png that is a 196, 196. Oh, we don't have that. Okay, uh, we can pick any one, 513 by 513. So let me do this. I'll call it maxable.png. Maxable.png. Um, then we'll go to our manifest file. It is a 516 by 516. I need to confirm that. 513 by 513. So it's an image and it's also a PNG. Um, it's a maximum. Now we need our logo 16. I'll go to my download folder. I'll get my logo 16. This is it. 16 by 16 logo. Put it into my public folder. So I'll call this logo 16.png. I enter that is saved. Um, so we are done with the logo 16, the 16 by 16. We we'll call logo one logo 32 and logo 192. So we need our logo 32 and our logo 192. So I'll hold our logo 32 and our logo 192. I'll move that inside the public folder. Logo 32. This is logo logo 192. Uh, 
this is our logo 32 okay so we have our logo system we have our logo 32 we have our logo 192 over here so um, um we need so you can also have different versions of this your um logo um so our our, our manifest suggestion file is okay and well uh, um, connected to our logos our different logos so let's work on our index.html so um we have our team already so basically most times is um you change your team color on your index.html file to what you have on your manifest file um so your apps look the same on all platforms we do that here um so we need um uh, we need the apple touch icon we we need to call our manifest file and we need our favicon.ico file so uh, let's convert um we have our there's a link that you can generate a favicon ico um file from so i will drop the link also in the description below so just go to favicon.io um let's um, in, um convert our logo to favicon.ico file so we we'll have that um go to the folder we we'll extract all extract that here open this and we have our favicon.ico um, logo so we take it into our folder and we put it inside the public folder boom we have that done so um if you go back to our index.html we have um the apple touch icon um this is being called from the logo 192 which you have here we have our manifest registration this is also being called in this same folder and we have our favicon.icu so i'll save this now um so let's go back to our source folder um if you go to the index just js this most times comes as if you unregistered so this helps app to work. It helps app to work offline. So you change it to register, receive, and we want to run this application. So we we'll go. Let me build the application. Okay. So now we've successfully built our application. Now we have a built folder on this section of our screen. So let's host on Netlify to see um, how our app works. First of all, I will locate my folder structure. So, um, so this is the folder, the build folder we'll upload on Netlify. So I'll open my Netlify account and I'll take up this build folder and I'll place it inside Netlify. So this will take some time, around two to three minutes to upload. So it depends on your network strength. So once it's done, we'll have our build version of the application. Okay, this is successful. So we'll open in a new tab to see how our app works. So we see our logo is well, well, is well um, called, and we have this download button here which shows this is a progressive web application i'll download this on my desktop i'll install it on my desktop so this is a progressive web application if you notice our theme is this color pantheon that is where you see it is showing this color this is our progressive web application congrats guys